I remember walking, passing through a group of men and then suddenly my heart skipped to an unscheduled resistance prayer workout, Psalm 23, verse 4, though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Oh, I walk in this valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil for you. And this time, I really hope you are with me. Mind you, this was in a very public place and in broad daylight. And I can't pretend I don't pray the ground opens up and swallow me every time a man gets a mirror close. Yes, gravity forsakes me all the time and my feet forget the order of their steps and each day that I survive men is considered a miracle. The seeds of selfishness and bestiality planted in private now blossom in public, attracting bees of insecurities and insects of fear. That just can seem to wave off. Psalm 23, verse 4. I prayed. Psalm 23, verse 4. I prayed. Psalm 23, verse 4. I prayed. Nothing about me. Suggested that I wanted any of it. My body broken into, my life reduced and equated to his selfish desires. How dare you sin against God and my body all at the same time? How dare you pronounce me woman before my body learns how to spell puberty? How dare you predate? Oh my God, tasked you to, to protect. Oh my God tasked you to protect. I was never afforded the privilege to own a closet, so the skeletons linger on my skin. They have made this body home and they call my mind a harbor of gruesome memories and like the sons of Rachel, my heart was another infant mortality rate statistic. And like the body of Israel in Egypt, I subjected it to perpetuated series of embleming, just an attempt to preserve it, see. I never intended to word silence. These pain soaked words never seemed to find their way through my throat. They just wandered about in my chest, leeching on every bit of my childhood till I died. A slow, contained death in total silence. No voices were ever heard. I never made any sound. Now, pain, anger, numbness and depression kept taking turns in overcoming my waking moments. Existing among people who never understand how difficult it is to labor breath after failed attempts to resign from it, so I find myself writing letters to myself like, don't sink in. Don't give up. Don't stop breathing. Please don't drown. Don't let it engulf you. Don't fake it. You won't make it live in this very moment. Feel every ounce of pain. Go through every emotion. Yes, the night is dark and is full of terror. And your eyes are mocking you with zero vision of dawn. Sunrise is coming. I promise you. A new day. Just breathe and keep breathing. You're in the right place and at the right time. Don't quit yourself. <laughs>